Hey everybody, welcome back. This video is going to be uh, focusing on install or laying out and painting on the stripes of my on my uh, 69 Camaro Z28. And I'm I'm going to start off here. Uh, I always start at the at the cow cover uh, with fine line tape because the cow cover has the uh, the the reveal for the for the uh, the grill up there at the cow which establishes the uh, stripes that go down the hood and so I'm starting off the video showing you how I use the fine line tape and how I how I get it to curve around the uh, you know the curves of the of the reveal there it's pretty easy to use you just kind of work it around in the circle and uh, it, it bends you know pretty easily so and then I use a, uh, um, a a small little metal ruler to to measure out the uh, the distances of the stripes which I'll show you my source for that here in a minute but again I'm showing you the uh, how easy it is to use the fine line tape and you really need to use the fine line tape to get a nice crisp uh, edge on the on the stripe so I'm gonna speed this up a little bit to show you the overall process and then I'll jump to uh, the source for measuring the distances for the for the uh, for the uh, stripe pinstripe so I'm using quarter inch fine line tape here and the the dimensions for the pinstripe are a quarter of an inch some people um, say that it's uh, I believe it's I can't remember now the nine sixteenths or something like that but I just go ahead and, and measure the quarter inch space between the, the stripe and the pinstripe and then I use the quarter inch fine line tape. Then once fine line tape is on there, I, I put a, a, uh, a row of masking tape around to where then we'll, we'll connect the, the paper later on when we start to paint. And again, that'll come up here later in the video. And then the, the, the stripes kind of go down into the jam there, uh, about a quarter to a half inch, something like that. And I just kind of put a piece of tape there to show, to, to kind of end the, the white, you know, as we're painting it. So this is an original paint car here that I'm using as source material. And this car is original paint, original stripes from the factory. And then also uh, uh, online, there was a guy who put out a tape measure measuring his original paint car. And that's where I got all my dimensions to lay out the stripe. So again, I, I'm using the, uh, the machinist ruler here to, to just mark off the dimensions where I have to put the fine line tape. And I'm speeding up this process here because I, I spent a couple of days laying these stripes out. And the dimensions are very confusing. Uh, and the, the stripes on the trunk lid in particular uh, have different dimensions on each stripe, uh, depending on where the Camaro emblem is and so on. But again, all that information is online if you uh, need to look that up. And there are stencils for these, but I've chosen to do it myself uh, just because I think it's a little easier. And then on the curve up here in the back, um, I just kind of, I measure five eighths of an inch down from the, from the window, which is what the uh, specs are in the assembly manual. And then I mark where the white and the blue uh, is. And then, believe it or not, I just use a quarter to establish my my inner circle of the of the uh, pinstripe. 
So I just kind of establish the inner port, the inner intersection there. And then I just use a, a quarter and I mark it. And then I wrap the fine line tape around that, that marking. It's pretty simple. It's pretty close to what the factory was. And it's really easy just to use a quarter and, and do it rather than stress yourself out about getting it absolutely the same as what the factory was, which is pretty close to a quarter. So, And you'll see at the end product, uh, it, it turned out really nice. Just have to make sure that fine line tape is firmly sealed at the edge there because you don't want any paint to bleed. And there again, I'm just marking where to put the paper when we're ready to paint it. And I just use a razor blade to uh, cut it and then push it down into the jam. And again, the same uh, set of pictures of an original paint car with the uh, measurements. And these are the measurements that I went by. So I got a, uh, a sewing tape, which is nice and soft, won't scratch the paint. And I just kind of tape it in place to, uh, to establish my distances and then I again follow those pictures that I found online of that original paint car and I'm just doing it exactly to what the factory did. There are so many discrepancies online about the dimensions of these stripes that I uh, the only ones that I really truly trust are original paint cars with original stripes so that's what I'm going by. And I've even heard that the stencils are slightly off as well. So, in my opinion, you can't argue what the factory did. And again, I'm using the cowl cover to establish the location of these stripes down the hood with that, with that reveal on the cowl cover really makes it easy on the hood side. And again, I mark the hood down the hood with, uh, you know, with the location marks so that I kind of line up, line the tape up as I stretch it down the hood. Again, you want to make sure all the edges are nice and firmly sealed onto the car. And I'm using my iPad there to reference uh, that original paint car. And in my case, it's kind of convenient not to have the windshield in because I can get up in there and, and really get the measurement exact. You want to wipe all the residue off before you lay the tape down. And again, referring to my iPad to those original paint stripes, they're, they're worth their weight in gold. So whoever posted those, thank you. It helps us all. The assembly manual um, the illustrations are really not that great. They, they show dimensions but the drawings are really not that accurate and they're 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 not real clear as to what part of the stripe the dimension is taken at it's very difficult to decipher that and i think that's one of the reasons why there's so many discrepancies on the actual dimensions of these stripes because the the illustrations in the assembly manual were drawn in like a uh, isometric drawings and the dimensions are just not clear as to exactly where they go so again that's why I'm using 
actual measurements of actual cars with original paint. It was very, very helpful in my case because my car did not have the original stripes on it when I bought it, so I didn't have anything to go by. So here we've put the car in, in the uh, paint booth once the, all the stripes are laid out, and now we're just taping everything up, getting it all ready to, uh, to paint. And we just cover the whole car up with plastic, and then we cut out the areas where the, where the stripes are going to go. This is actually the fun part of the job. I mean, laying the stripes out are not as easy as I'm making it look. It, it's very challenging. It's very confusing. It's, you really have to pay attention to the dimensions. I mean, I, I must have laid these stripes out four or five times before I got them right. And I do have the advantage of doing all this at the body shop with the paint booth and everything. It, it made it so much easier than if I had to have done it at my shop. And again, as I mentioned in the previous videos, I'm, I am really trying to get the car out of the shop because their, their hours are very um, erratic right now with the, with the uh, lockdown and their business has been affected and everything. So I, I, I just feel like I need to get the car out of the shop, out of the body shop here and into my own shop. And then uh, I can get back on the motorcycle videos as well. So my next video will be on some of the bikes that I'm working on as well. So, so here we are finishing up getting everything taped off and ready for the for the paint. And once you do that, you have to kind of go back and scuff up those areas again to make sure all your handprints and fingerprints are off of the surface. And then we wipe them down with uh with a thinner to get all the oils off and everything and at this point, they're ready to start to shoot. So here's Francisco getting ready to start the painting process. And I'm going to speed this up here in a second. I just wanted to kind of show the, the initial spray and as specified by the assembly manual and and many other sources uh, the stripes are are painted with Dover white which was a very common color around this time period So here I'm speeding up the video a little bit to get it past the spraying process.
took only a few minutes to spray on the paint and then after we let it set for about a half hour or so then we uh, clear coated it and then after that we will uh, wet sand the whole car down and then buff uh, re-clear the hood and the trunk and wherever the stripes are and then we'll uh, wet sand the whole car down and buff it out and then we'll be finished so and then after about 45 minutes or so uh, you want to remove the all the plastic and the tape and so on before the paint is completely set up because it's it's much safer to pull the uh, fine line tape when the paint is still soft so you don't pull up the the paint with it and that's what we're doing here and again the paint was very very sticky so we had to be really careful how we undid everything and of course the paint got all over our hands and not really the paint but but our hands were very sticky afterwards so um, that's kind of when you want to pull the fine line tape off and as you will see here in a minute it just turned out perfect Here I'm kind of showing a close-up of pulling the fine line tape off and you can just see how great that stuff is. And that's it. That's the here's the finished product. And again, like I said before, we'll on a couple of days we'll we'll clear coat over these again and then we will wet sand and buff out the whole car at that point. So this is going to pretty much do it for this particular video. And I thank you so much for watching. And again, as usual, please like, subscribe, and share. And stay tuned for upcoming videos on the motorcycles and on the car as well. So once I get the car back to my shop, then I'll be working on both the bikes and the car at the same time. And my next video on the car is going to be, I'm going to start putting the engine together. So I'm going to go through the entire step-by-step -step process of putting the engine back together, the original 302 for this car. So again, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>